everyone welcome back to another video it has been a while <laughs> a, little while. a little while since we've been out camping so we are at our first free campsite um in a long 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 time so where are we we're just out of the shoe car <laughs> uh, we almost don't know where we were yeah. <laughs> well we came late last night so we might have nearly got bogged and all that so it was a bit hard getting into but we finally we found a good spot we're here by ourselves uh, no one else around, but just before we, we talk about it, have a look at this. This is the flood water. That's how high it got. So, it goes to show you, and there's been heaps of logs wash up on the banks and all that yeah. too. So, I'm going to cut some of them up. Mm. Um, so, I'll spin around. This is us here. We've got Garrett and Tanisha in the swag, the caravan, and a little setup, so we have to come in two cars because there's five of us and two dogs. So that was fun last night in the dark. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna get some brekkie or brunch going. Lee's gonna do his famous breakfast wraps, and um, yeah. we'll show you a little bit of our campsite as well, so you can see where we are. <laughs> woke up pretty early this morning um couldn't find his smokes anywhere so decided to wake us all up 
with his car starting, drove literally 100 meters down the road, decided, you know what, I'm going to go in a puddle today. And obviously you saw what happened. <laughs> he ended up bogged pretty well, but luckily he's got the winch, so winched himself out. And what came to the rescue? You trusty Havel. <laughs> No, nah, don't have a winch, just drove in a ticket to the puddle. To make everyone my famous breakfast wraps now i've done this on my brother's uh channel king dino's adventures so you might know it from there if you've seen it all right so all it is we've got the mission wraps but we've got the bacon the frozen hamburger patties hash browns and then we do eggs and my little egglets these are the the best things ever i've talked about these millions of times I'll tell you one secret when I'm cooking bacon, because I like to get it on first, because some people like it crispy, some people like it not that well done. What I do, I get it cooking, and then I use one piece of bacon, the biggest piece, as my sacrificial lamb. So I put that down, and then just stack all the cooks, the ones where that are cooked on top, and they don't get any, they're so hot, they don't get burnt. So that's my sacrificial piece of bacon tip of the week. <laughs> All right, first victim is my dear, lovely wife. So this is how we put it all together. We've got two eggs. Slam that down on a wrap with barbecue sauce. Hash brown. The old frozen beef patty. And then the bacon. Just like that. Now, this is a Weber Q. Look at that. I'm cooking for five people on my Weber Q. People with Ziggies. Can you do that? No, you can. <laughs> Give it the old flip, flip, flip. And then I'll take it over right here. <laughs> and we'll, the old wife will give us a taste test. Mm. Always beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. It's a way to start the morning, isn't it? Perfect way to start the morning. Who's next? Go, let go.
<laughs> All right, so the three of us girls have come down to check out Echuca, the little town. The boys are fishing with the two dogs, so it's just a little quick girls trip. We are trying to find a bakery to pick up a nice loaf of crusty bread because Lee is going to make a stew tonight in the camp oven. So let's um, check out the town. That bakery over there is actually pretty cool, but we're gonna go and try and check out a smaller bakery. What are the girls yeah. found? They're window shopping. Yes. <laughs> into a little store just to check out a few things and it is massive over here so I don't even know what it's called but I'll have to have a look when we get out but I'll spin this around so you can actually see what we're looking at um the girls are looking at everything <laughs> oh that pot belly fireplace that's so cool yes we have enough fireplaces at home <laughs> on the main strip come check this store out a little bit of something for everyone heaven too Tanisha? Huh? Are you in heaven? <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs>
Tanisha reckons I'm teasing her because they do wine tasting here. I'm not She's 18, however, then. hasn't got her photo ID on her. So, bad Can luck, Tanisha. Really <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Yes, you can come in. Ooh. Who was this? Last time you left me like outside for an hour because <laughs> we were wine testing. These are so cool. It's a local market which we're going to check out. All right, the girls are ducked into town. They've gone into Wachuca just to have a bit of a look, as girls do. So all four boys are stuck at the campsite. As you can hear, we just left the dogs. They're going to go crazy for a sec because we, me and Jared, are just walking down here. There's a bit of an embankment to get down, and uh, we're going to throw a rod in and see what we can do. We're going to throw three rods in, actually, but, oh, Jesus. How are we going to get down there? Have a look at that. Yeah, that's no good, but we'll see what we can do, stay tuned. Alright, so first cast, didn't like where it was, so I was bringing it in, we got snagged, so like I say, I'm always going to jump into water, and just I'm going to have to do it a bit earlier this time. <laughs> and he's going to be muddy. Very fresh. Very fresh. Fresh, tell you that much. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Such a gentleman. <laughs> So for tonight's dinner, this time, <laughs> we are making a beef stew. Um, we've got all our ingredients over here, so I'll quickly give you a bit of a rundown as to what we need, and then we'll do a bit of a B-roll on everything, and then get it on the camp oven, in, on the fire. All right, so for tonight, obviously we're having beef stew, so we do have some oyster blades over here. There are five of us, so I'll dice these up. Um, we've got our onion which is going to be diced some garlic which will be a bit chunky going there um, into the camp oven we've got our celery we do have a bit of a cheeky lee likes chunky carrot so we've got these big fellows that we'll just um, split in half and pop in the camp oven our trusty spuds um we've got tomato paste i think there's about i think we need a, probably about two sachets which is about Four tablespoons of tomato paste that we need. The only time we use red wine, we don't drink it, so <laughs> we generally use our red wine in our in, in our cooking. So we do have some Shiraz, which I'll put a big lug in it. We've got some beef stock today, some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, 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 <laughs> whichever one it is, <laughs> Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, obviously to season. Um, it does call for some fresh thyme. We don't have anything because we're in the caravan, so we've got some thyme in a bottle. And obviously just a little bit of oil, um, just to fry up our onion and celery and whatnot. So that's basically all we need today for our stew. And um, we better get cracking because it is a beautiful sunset behind me. It is gonna get dark pretty soon and we wanna get the camp oven on the coal before it goes pitch black. So let's get going. Now, as you can see, we like garlic. <laughs> Who else likes garlic? Camping, so we're not going to brown things off and this and that. We're just going to go straight into the camp oven, get the lid on, start cooking, and enjoy the food after a few drinks. Of course. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, not my cup of tea. But in here,
Well, cut all the wood. Cars are loaded. Now, I'm sweating. Having a dirty on them. So, I'm going to jump in the water. Too loose. Bye. Oh, it's muddy. Thinking. Like quicksand. Well, I can't save you. It's taking my breath. It's taking my breath away. Oh, wash yourself. You got all that red stuff all over you. Uh. <laughs> It's called in Jamison. <sighs> oh. Here we go, our beef stew. Done and dusted. With Christian special, the peas. <laughs> I love my peas. And? Some special bread that we picked up from the bakery today when the girls and I went in. Just to have with our stew. Because we like our carbs. <laughs> Got all the carbs. Yeah. First, That's one way to first taste it. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh. Is that good? <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> we are hungry though. We are very hungry. We are very hungry. The good, good thing about a shoe and a camp oven. You having a drink, a red fire, and that looks good. Feels a hole. All right, let's eat, eh? Everyone, let's dish up. Aww, Javed. Javed, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so just a little bit about the campsite where we stayed. Um, as you saw earlier in the map, I'll put it up again, we stayed in between two different campsites. Um, there are no toilets here. You do need to be self-contained, but it's just a short drive to a couple of other campsites if you want to access drop toilets. Or we're about we were about 20 minutes out of Echuca if you want to use proper flushable toilets. All in all, we enjoyed our stay here, um, and we will definitely be back another time. And firewood is in abundance over here, so you can definitely camp over winter. Thank you for watching another video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button on the way out. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss another video when we release them. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Ciao.